Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my normal nighttime routine. What I'm showing you here is the Crest Whitening Therapy toothpaste that I've been using. I got this toothpaste a couple weeks ago and I really like it. Some toothpastes have a really strong um, taste um, and they just make me feel uncomfortable. Um, my mouth is sensitive. I like this because it has the spearmint taste, but it's not too strong. Um, and um, it doesn't leave my tongue feeling numb um, or anything like that. I use an oil bead electric toothbrush. I really like it. It has different settings so I can whiten. I can uh, brush my teeth and I can whiten it. The next step is using this Mary Kay Time Wise Face Moisturizer. You don't need a whole lot, as you can see. Um, so I add a little, first I wet my face and then I add a drop of water to the palm of my hands and rub them together to get the lather, go lather going. And then in circular motions, I wash my face until I feel that it's nice and clean. And then I use a hot washcloth to get that soap off my face. The next thing I'm going to do is a charcoal mask, um, and it is also by Mary Kay. I like the mask because it makes my, fa my face feel really tight and clean. So here's the mask that I'm going to be using. You don't need much. Um, I actually put just a little bit. I put that on my face, and then if it's not enough, then I, um, I'll um add just a little bit as I go. I don't like to overdo it with the products because these products are expensive. And so I try to use just enough. I just want to make sure that my face is coated with it, uh, but not too much. So it should have an even color all the way around. And that's what I'm looking for. As you can see, the mask is dark again. It's a charcoal mask. Um, and as it dries, it's going to get lighter on my face, um, but it feels so good, y'all. It makes your skin feel nice and tight and just renewed after it's done. And it also doesn't take a lot to get it off. The next thing I'm going to do is use the Smile Direct uh, Teeth Whitening Kit. I just got it in the mail, so tonight is my first time using it. But I've already read up on how to use it, and I'm super, super excited. It promises um, a noticeable difference within a week. So we shall see. Um, you actually use it in the evening, and then you use it in the morning. Those four whitening pens last for six months. So the first step, oh, and here's the, the LED light, and that plugs up. That go, part goes in your mouth, and then it connects to the adapter, um, and that adapter will allow you to plug it into um, any phone, Android or iPhone, and I believe also like a laptop or something because it has a USB connection too. So I'm going to use it in my iPhone. So the first step, oh, and see my face, how it's getting lighter? That's because it's the mask is drying. So the first step is to turn the dial on the pen until you see the gel, like just the bubble of the gel come up. And once you see that, see there, then you start putting it on your teeth. I had to go get a mirror. And I can tell you, since I started using it, I've gotten better with having this to um, spit all the time. It was just uncomfortable having it on your teeth, not feeling like I could swallow or anything like that. And learning how to put it on your teeth. So currently I'm in day three, but this is day one that you're viewing right now. So once you get it all over your teeth, you plug it up to your phone. 
and the light stays on your mouth for five minutes. So it is, I believe, um, 7.55 or something like that. Let's see what the, what the time is. 8.55. So I'll take it out at 9 o'clock. All right, so it's nine o'clock. We're done with that. Time to take it out. What I'll do is I'll rinse the LED light off. Oh, it looks whiter already, doesn't it? All right, I'm gonna like this. So I'll take the LED light out, rinse it off, dry it off, and put it back in the kit because I'll use it again in the morning. And I'm going to add a little um, of the charcoal mask back to my face. Um, as I lost some of it as a result of the teeth whitening kit. Again, I know it's going to take some getting used to. Maybe I should have done it before I put the mask on. But hey, it's my first night using it. And it's trial and error and learn as you go around this camp. You know what I mean? So let's add some more charcoal mask back um, once we get that put back together. And then once we put the mask back on, it'll be time to take a shower. have this whole routine in the shower I have a couple different body washes that I use um, one is a great um, Castile soap that I love it has um, spearmint lavender all kind of stuff in it and it I just love it it makes me feel clean it makes my skin tingle and I also use a Dove body wash but what I'm going to do tonight, and I try to do it once a week, is use my Satin Hands Kit to soften my feet. The first step is to add the softener, and that's what I'm doing here to my feet. So step one is to add the softener. You get that all over your feet, just like you would your hands. Um, rub it in. It has the consistency of like a Vaseline. Um, and then what I'm using in the pump here is step two is something like an exfoliator. So you rub that into um, your entire foot, the entire area that you've added the softener to. Um, you rub in um, that exfoliator. I had to switch hands because the way the water is running using my left hand was rinsing off my feet. And then I grab my scrubber and I scrub my feet. And I love the scrubber. I got it from Amazon. It has soap on one side and um, the scrubber on the other. Once I'm done, I do my final um, lather down with Dove soap. Tonight I'm using the cucumber um, and melon. Um, and I also make sure that I scrub my feet, getting that softener and exfoliator off of it just so that I don't slip and fall. Once out of the shower, it's time to take off this mask. Um, and as you can see, it comes off really easily. I'll rinse the washcloth and do it again, but it's not hard. I had a, a mask one time, a charcoal mask that hurt when I was taking it off. And this one isn't like that. So um, with the hot washcloth it easily comes off be careful around the hairline that you get it all i have 
done a mask in the morning and then my husband and I went somewhere. He was like, what is that black stuff around your hair? I hadn't got it all. So you got to be careful that you um, get those areas where your hairline is. While I'm waiting on my face to dry a little bit so I can moisturize it, I'll go ahead and do step three of the skin softener for my feet. And that's adding the moisturizer. Um, you want to make sure that you moisturize your feet once they're dry. Um, I always add a pair of socks so that I, it holds the moisture and I'm not walking around putting the moisture um, everywhere. Now it's time to complete uh, my face routine. First, uh, I'll put a cream that I use on under my eyes. Just a little drop is all you need. Half of that will go under the right eye and the other half will go under the left eye. And all you need to do is blot it on until it soaks in. This is to tighten the area under your eye and relieve puffiness. As you can see, I do have puffiness under my eye. I think it's inherited. My mother has it as well. Um, and so I, I just blot that in until my skin soaks it up. And then I'll add my night cream. Now there's a day cream, which is in the pink container. But we're going to use the night cream because we're getting ready to go to bed. So we'll add just enough to moisturize the face. I'll dot that uh, on and rub in circular motions just like my friend Nicole taught me all over my face. Making sure that I get it nice and moisturized. As you can see, my face has a glow. I just love these Mary Kay products. They feel so good on my skin. And I just love them. So thank you for watching my night routine, you guys. I feel like I can go to sleep. Have a good night.